The Chancellor, George Osborne, has announced that the welfare budget will be cut by a further £10 billion. Speaking at the Conservative Party conference in Birmingham, Mr Osborne delivered a speech in which he announced further benefit cuts on top of the £18 billion announced two years ago. One idea he suggested was limiting the number of children in a family that should be supported on benefits. But the Chancellor ruled out a mansion tax for people with properties more than £2 million. The Liberal Democrats have been advocating the tax, but Osborne dismissed the notion saying that it's not a mansion tax, it's a home tax, and this party of property ownership will have no truck with it. Osborne did acknowledge that the rich needed to contribute more to reducing the deficit, saying that those with the most should contribute the most, though he did not outline plans for how this would happen. Much of the speech was brief in advance, but Osborne did surprise Conservatives in attendance with radical reforms to employment law, in which employees are offered shares in the company they work for in return for losing certain workers' rights, such as redundancy packages. Mr Osborne said it was a sink or swim moment for the Western economies and that further cuts to public spending would pull Britain out of recession and see the country prosper in the future. The Chancellor also signalled further investment for scientific research at English universities announcing an extra £200 million will be made available to encourage research.